start a video because I'm just actually clearing up my table. But I wanted to show you this silicone mat is incredible. I made a vase out of, well, it was a glass vase and I poured paint over it and then resin and actually I was just going to use this silicone mat that I actually haven't used. Literally, resin. There's <laughs> so much resin on this. Look at this. It just peeled right off. And there I go. I can scrunch it up. It's like little resin pieces I can pull off. And the way to go is for sure using silicone with resin. Don't worry about plastic, although actually I have to say bin liners are good for plastic. Uh, for bin, plastic bin liners are good for resin. But resin literally peels off of anything silicone. So all the little tiny pieces, I'm just going to put this in a bowl. Look at this. I got this off Amazon. It is a, I don't know what this was actually, something to do with pies. But any of the resin that sticks to it is just comes off and you can fold it. It's not going to get any creases. It is just wonderful. The other thing I wanted to show you was this is my silicone spatula and that I've been raving about and literally look at the resin. It just peels off and any little tiny pieces that remain just pick off with your nails which is kind of pleasurable experience anyway though the link to those is on my amazon shopping list so enough interruptions i'm going to get on with my video now in video 27 i did a easy beachy acrylic pour now i'm going to do it with resin and you've caught me in the midst of mixing up my resin my favorite um additives to resin are really acrylic paints purely because of the um, density of them. However, today I'm using Stone Coat Art Coat, Stone Coat Countertop Art Coat resin. And for the base, I'm for the first time, sorry, I'm just putting those away. For the first time, I'm using their white base tint as the base, the background. And for the rest, for the ocean, I'm using Artist Loft Light Blue, Liquitex Basic Bright Aqua Green, AI Friedman, which I presume doesn't exist anymore, Primary Blue. And I'm also using um, a mixative by um, Rangers alcohol inks for the ocean just to add some texture and some depth ai friedman's copper this is for the sand part amsterdam acrylics warm gray artist loss unbleached titanium and gold mixative by ranger alcoholic So I've mixed up all my resins with their colors. I'm also going to add, here's my white, which 
I'm hoping is whiter than it looks right now but I am also going to add some resi blast here is my resi blast and I'm going to add this to only my ocean because I want my ocean to be bubbly so resi blast in there aqua light blue little stir little stir little stir so the way I'm going to do this I'm going to do a white background and then I'm going to do two open cup dirty pours and float them along and again refer back to my acrylic painting which I did exactly the same way except I did a blue background so white resin put that on there again move my cups out the way here's my lovely silicone spatula my spatch so just spread this out and at this point I always think oh my gosh I haven't mixed enough resin but there's always plenty of resin I wish you know what I kind of wish I'd put two pairs of gloves on I'm gonna try and sneak another pair on right now because when you put two pairs of gloves on firstly it's easier to put a pair on top of a pair than once you've had your gloves on you try to get another glove on because your hands so sweaty you just can't do it right oh. see actually she says it's easy but it's not so easy anyway what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my hand to spread all this around Okay, much easier. Easy, easy, easy. And as usual, oh, by the way, this board, this is a um ooh, what is that? Oh. I made a vase that is so gorgeous, which I am going to be doing another video on. Um, this is house siding, which is a man-made kind of plastic board, but it's kind of like a wood. I don't even know what you would call it, but it is lightweight. I found it at Home Depot and I'm also not worried about the first layer that I put down on here because I always do a minimum of two layers of resin okay so there's my white down I can now peel off my first glove it's gonna kind of beach Ocean Beach. So I'm um, gonna put my beach resin in. Probably don't need nearly as much resin as I have mixed. And, oh, there it goes on its own. Hang on. Okay. Got a mind of its own. 
Here we go with the ocean. I want these to kind of swim. Oh, look, this is on going. And this is the Resi Blast in it. I don't know if any of you have used Resi Blast before, but it is so cool. So let's make these swimming cups swim. See the cells? I put Resi Blast in the ocean and not in the sand. Let me lift this up a little bit. Swimming. Funny how it went on its own in the beginning. But then I wanted to do it, it wouldn't do it. So, I don't think I, I have tons of resin left over. This is ridiculous, I'm so wasteful, but I love the negative space on this. Um, I'm gonna tilt it first, just a little bit. So I made the resin, I don't know, about 15 minutes ago. Stone coat resin has a good 40 minutes work time, which is what makes it so great for when you're working with it for art versus what it was created for was countertops. Um, but anyway, so here, I'm gonna take my gloves off. I'm going to get a straw and I'm gonna, no, first of all, I'm going to torch it. Tons of bubbly bits. Tons of bubbles. Get rid of all the bubbles. Oh, I was going to tell you the size of this is approximately two feet. It's kind of big actually. Two feet by. 18 inches, so 24 by 18 inches. And I never really worry about the um, first coat of resin because I, I sand it down and apply a second coat, clear coat, a flood coat. That's just how I like to do it. So, I'm gonna get a straw. And I'm going to blow. Actually, I'm not gonna blow the top. The top is already beautiful. So. Some more air bubbles. There you have the equivalent of video 27 in resin, a easy beachy resin pour. I'm gonna bring you down for a closer look. So bringing you down for a closer look. 
Isn't that so pretty? Now, remember the sandy part of this beach pour did not have resi blast, but you still get cells. And then when you go into the ocean, look at the cells that the resi blast created. If you've not used Resi Blast, I highly suggest you do. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and oh, I'm just going to take you up here because this is so pretty. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.